Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to Lesson 33 in the Intermediate Algebra series. In this tutorial, I'm going to be discussing the basic percent equation. And so this is it right here. P times B equals A. And P is the percent. And B is the base. It's basically the items that we're taking the percentage of. And the result of taking the percentage of B is equal to A, the amount. So let's go ahead and use some numbers here so that this makes a little bit more sense. So let's say that I have 60 apples and I want to give away 15 of my apples. So we're going to just give 15 of them. And so then the question I want to ask is if we started with 60 apples and we gave 15 of them away, what percentage of our apples did we take away? So since the items that we started with is going to be apples, we have 60 apples, then the basically the start is the base. This is what we're starting with. So our base number, the number we start with is 60. So B becomes 60, our base. And 15 is the amount that we give. It's the amount that we give away. So we're going to put A for amount and A is equal to 15, the amount we gave away. So then we want to figure out the percent of apples, the percent of our base that gave us the amount 15. So basically we can just simply put it into this equation and then just use some simple algebra to solve this. So we don't know what our percentage is, so we're just going to call it P for now. And then we want to multiply that by our base, and B we said was equal to 60, that's our base. And the result of taking a percentage of that number is equal to the amount of apples that we gave away. So this is equal to 15. And so then we just simply have to divide each side by 60 now. And then we have 60 over 60 cancels, giving us 1. So P times 1 is just P. So P is equal to 15 over 60. And we can just plug this into our calculator and that gives us the value 0.25. And so that's our percentage. Now anytime we have a percentage in a decimal form, we can simply just move this decimal two units to the right and then put a percentage sign on the end. So this becomes 25% by moving that decimal place two units to the right and then adding the percentage sign. So basically, if we have 60 apples to begin with, and we give away 15 apples, then we gave away 25% of the apples that we started with. So I think I'll just go ahead and stop this tutorial here and let this sink in. I'll go ahead and do some more examples of this type of thing in the next few tutorials. So stay tuned for those. Um, you guys have a great day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.